What up, everybody? It's your boy, Tommy Sotomayor, coming at you live because I got something on my mind. Everybody knows that most of my videos, they focus on the dynamic of the black woman and how she is hurting the community. How the black queen has fallen so far from her queenship that it's pretty saddening. Now, I wasn't around when black women were queens. When I was born, I didn't see black women who were queens. Even black women who lived in Queens weren't queens. But this title has stuck to black women because it was a self-given title. Nobody called them that. White men didn't, Indian men didn't, and not even black men. Black women call themselves queens. Black American women call themselves queens. Always be careful of people who give themselves titles. Because it's usually a sign of delusion and the rest of the world doesn't see them that way. Just they do. But this one is more about the black men. Because see, if black women are queens black men are supposed to be kings then last I checked the queen is the second in command and if black men are fancying themselves as kings then I don't see how their kingdom got overturned and overrun by their female partner so black men this video is about how it's your fault yep it's your fault the king Number one, man in charge. See, when you want to be the head, there is a responsibility that comes along with that. See, my hands and all this stuff moves due to my head. So if my hand gets on the stove and the stove is hot and it burns my hand, I can't say stupid hand. I have to say stupid head. If I run into a tree, I can't say stupid chest, stupid legs, stupid feet. Head gets the blame. So Mr. King, you kingly men, if everything is as bad as I say it is, and you agree, then whose fault is it? Now we could say that the black American woman might have become who she is which is the agent of the white man due to when she was brought here with us during slavery she was raped her man was raped her kids were raped she was raped her men were killed her kids were killed he made sure he didn't kill the woman because there's no need to kill the woman he frightened the woman you can kill the men because you can make more men from the women damn I'm good anyway that being the case you have to frighten the women and you frighten the women by killing her men and children so if the woman wants to make sure that she has children that can make it one she likes it when she has mixed children because the mixed children get a chance to go in the house and the white man will have some connection to the kids less likely to kill them which is why you don't see as many mixed children get killed as you see dark-skinned people get killed by the police and hangings you don't see a bunch of light-skinned men getting hung light-skinned women getting hung it's the truth they had a connection to those children they had a connection to those people so they were easier on them that's why they called them house niggas because they stayed in the house so maybe the black woman used her survival skills so you kind of fall in love with your captor because you want to stay alive this is just something I'm throwing a bone out there, but I can't say. But what I can talk about is stuff that I know that I know and I've researched because there's no research to why black women did what they did in slavery or why they are here today. But I can tell you this. There was a time in which the black man enjoyed being the head of his house, regardless of how small of a house it was. And he was still respected in the 20s, the 1900s, and it, all, all the way up to I would say maybe 1960, late 60s, early 70s, which coincided with feminism. And the white man was smart; he couldn't break the black 
family spirit because we stayed together throughout slavery. We stayed together throughout all of that stuff. We stayed together throughout mixed kids. The black men would still take care of them kids knowing they wasn't his. Family stayed together. So they couldn't do it through any of that stuff. So what they did was they used social programs. Social programs have allowed black women to kick the man out of the house. Or is it that the black man has left the house willingly? See, if the black woman was accepting social programs and social money in order to live a better life than she would if she was working with her man, well, it was her man who sat there and said, you're right, girl, go ahead and accept that check from the government. It was her man who said, I'll pretend I'm not here. I'll come through after they drop the money off. We're going to use the system. This I do know. Well, while doing that, it seemed like a good little racket. You know, it's like when you and someone are stealing something and then that person realized, hey, I'm doing all the work. Kind of like Beyonce with the uh, Destiny's Child. Wait a minute, I'm doing all the damn work. So after a while, the woman started to realize, I'm doing all the damn work. And once she got that stuck in her head, the 80s came around. And she started going on Oprah and saying, these black men ain't shit. Well, what happened is, black men, kings, they didn't stop the bleeding. They didn't say, hold the fucking phone. No. They just declined and became a lazier and lazier group. Let me explain. If you are the kings that you say you are, then there would be no way in Hades that you would continue to do what it is we complain about. You know, have sex with multiple women and have multiple kids by multiple women then complain that they're putting you in jail. We know the process by now. We do. So when they happen to us now, we can't fault the system or the people because we're just as weak And we're supposed to be the kings. See, kings wouldn't be fucking all these random women, having all these random kids and getting put in jail like we do. But we do it. Because we're weak. Now, yes, I understand that there is a reason why this exists. It is because we were raised in single parents' households. So if your mother's a whore, you have no ability to even recognize a whore. Matter of fact, you'll probably get someone just like your mother because that's what y'all ask us to do. Get a woman like your mother. Well, most of our mothers were whores. That's why you see these men with whores. Making babies with whores. Multiple babies. But what does that say about you men if we're now complaining about it and then going back out and doing it? If we are these kings, as we say we are, wouldn't it be quite easy for us to walk Kings would be able to move. Kings would say, we are no longer going to do this. The rate of out of wedlock kids would go down and the rate of whores who keep getting pregnant would really go down. They haven't. I live here in the land of Atlanta and in Atlanta, I see way more men living in the house with i.e. their mother or i.e. their girlfriend. They good at John Madden, they hell at NBA 2K, but they don't work at all. They got a hustle. They got a side hustle and a hustle to that side hustle. But they don't have anything that creates wealth. So they have, again, a situation of where the woman looks at the man and says, I don't have to respect you because you don't have power. Because I see other men and other men have a certain amount of power. So therefore, they don't even put up with a certain amount of something. I see black men, yes, us, myself included, arguing with more women than women argue with women, arguing with women longer than women argue with women, argue with them just as virally. Oh, we get into it. When typically a real man would walk away now if she won't let you walk away I'm still an advocate of knocking a bitch out I really am but we wouldn't even interact with people who act that way as kings we would reject the black women completely if they did not want to act right even 
if we have had years and years of brainwashing. Once we know, we would stop. But for all of you black men who watch my videos and watch everything I do and say, who do you go right back out and lust after and sleep with? The first piece of easy ass that you can get. Because black men have no ability to self-moderate. See, we got black men like Kwame Kilpatrick and all of the people in Detroit, basically. And those men are in power. They're in positions of power to make change. Yet each one were brought down by women. Each one has multiple kids all over the place. Why? Even when we get to positions of power, we become victims of our loins. We can't think. So after watching my videos, black men, what do you do? Are you doing what a king would do, which is dismiss the queen who's not doing what she should be doing and only associate with people who are of royalty? Because if you come into my video claiming you're a king and your homeboy throwing up gang signs, talking about fuck them hoes, you're surrounded by the court jester. That's not what a king does. You may be entertained by them, then you send them on. And if they don't entertain you, but instead you are being led by them. You get through listening to my stuff and I've watched some of you guys activity on YouTube. It's funny. You'll thumbs up my video, then you'll go right to twerk team and thumbs up that video. Then you'll go to this other video where this girl's showing her breast and thumbs up that video. And then you try to put those women down. You cannot be a fan of twerk team and then be a fan of my videos talking about some twerk team is out of line. I understand you like watching it, but if you like watching it, that's why it keeps getting produced. If you like seeing it, that's why they keep doing it. So can you really blame them when you refuse to blame yourself? Black men, it is your fault. When that black woman, Miss Prophet, got on and went off on black men, that wasn't her fault. When you got mad, half of you fit what she was saying. There is no reason to argue with that woman. Leave that woman alone. We're supposed to be men. We're supposed to be kings. That woman's supposed to be marginalized. You're supposed to ignore that woman. But you couldn't. You couldn't ignore that woman. You chased that woman. You decided to say whatever you wanted to say to that woman. And I understand if you made a comment to that woman. When you make a days long dialogue with that woman. You validated what she said. Anyone else that is following women around is doing the same thing that women are doing to men. So we're not even able to walk away from each other. If we were royalty. Now, men, if they can't walk away from us, you should understand why they can't. When they stalk us, you should understand why they're doing it. They can't get nobody else. Black women would love to be with other people. They can't get them. It's the equivalent of a lame dude who'd love to be with a model. But the reason he's with a fat girl is because he can't get a model. A lot of us have done that. I've settled for pussy that I knew I would like to have the chick that looked like Amber Rose. Surely I would. Every man in the world would like to have a girlfriend that looks like Beyonce. The chick we at home with don't look like Beyonce. It's called settling. But we accept it and we understand it. Black women accept us as black men, but they don't understand it. They still hold out hope that they can get their white daddy. Let them have him. But no, you keep reproducing with them. You keep laying up with them and then complaining about the end result. Here's what I think should happen. All the men who are watching my video who agree with my video. You should only date black women who are of the caliber that you are, compl are, are complaining about. They have to be above that caliber. If not, 
then you are perpetuating the problem because they have no reason to change if you are not changing who you choose. Now, I do want to say this for the black men who have stopped dating black women completely and have moved on and now have a woman outside of your race. You can watch my videos. You can like my videos. You can say great job. But I would like it if you stop saying black bitches, black whores, black slut. And the reason why is because I would assume you've moved on. And people who've moved on don't continue to go off on people they've moved on from. I can honestly tell you that as soon as I get me a white woman, hell if I get me a half breed, I'm going to stop talking about black women. I'm going to start talking about my half breed brethren. I promise you because I'm not in it to beat black women down the way they just feel horrible. I'm in it to try and get them to see what the rest of the world sees and hope they will change. But I can't ask them to change. If you keep on procreating with them, if you keep on doing what you're doing, the system can't work. If you pull yourself out, it's like my grandmother said, it takes two people to argue. Well, a lot of this literally can be stopped if you stop messing with them. Now, if I start to see a mass exodus of black men messing with black women, my message would change. If black men started messing with white women in huge numbers, here's what would make me happy. If I could get 50% of you black men to just never talk to black women again, ever. Because you have to understand black men. They treat mixed kids and call them black. They said any child that's mixed and has a black father is black. That's what they say. So use their rule against them. Tell them that you're creating a better black race by not fucking with them, getting you a white woman or a woman of class, a woman of another culture who does not believe in subjugating her male have children with that woman do like Barack Obama's dad did and you can raise you a black president because black women haven't been able to raise one and they love mixed people so you'd create more of what they love because they love mixed people even Tyler Perry in his movie Alex Cross and the other movie he did before that both of his girlfriends were light skinned. So whenever he does a movie worthwhile, he get a light skinned girl. And the only time he has dark skinned girls is when they're getting raped or they acting like men or he's dressed up as one of you. And you still don't see it, do you, black folks? Most every dark skinned girlfriend, uh, most every dark skinned girl, her best friend is some light skinned chick. And that light skinned chick is the leader of the group. So they love light skinned people. So why not give them more of what they want? Black men, you have power and you refuse to use it. You are wasting it upon hood rats. That is what you are doing. So henceforth, if that is what you're doing, then realize it is your fault. Now there are black men who have stood up and you see it. It's happening a lot. Just not at a big enough pace. And see, black women see it's happening, black men. That's why they're trying to shame you. That's why they're saying things to you like, your mama black. That's why they're saying you a sellout. That's why they're saying you couldn't handle a real black woman. But what you need to do is not talk to them anymore. Once you have moved on from black women, don't even watch my, you can watch my videos for entertainment value, but don't even speak on them. Because you as a king has moved on. And you're still creating black people because they claim everyone mixed is still black. One drop makes you whole. So they shouldn't have a problem. You're still creating black people. You're just not doing it with these dumbass hood rats. And I think that's smart thinking. So please, black men, understand. No matter how much you cheer on what I say and what I do, anything that happens to you from today forward, is your fault because you can't say you did not know none of you can say you did not know 
The guys in Tennessee who have those 76 kids with those 46 women, they knew. But they were just like the women who talked about it. They weren't shit. Those men don't have shit. And every woman they got pregnant, they was living with that bitch. So how is he any better than her? Most black men, most of us are in the situation we're in because we don't have shit. So we're dependent upon this woman that we don't even want. That we don't mean any good. We lay up with her. We eat her food. We eat our kids' food. We run up our light bill. Then we get her pregnant. Then we cheat on her with somebody else. Then we have another girl and we leave her house to go to another girl's house. Oh, yes, black men. There are a lot of you doing that. Then when they get tired of you for a little while, you go move back in the house with your mama. And then you find another girlfriend and you move in her house. Kings don't do that. So when you're doing that, black men... It's your fault. If you're in college, stop dating black women. If you got a good job, stop dating black women. Surely there's 10% out there, but why would you want to look through 10% of 10% of why would you want to look through garbage just because there's a 10% chance you might find gold? That's not very high, and that's a waste of time if you care about your time. All black women aren't like this. But 90% are. The problem is, what is the percentage of men that ain't shit? And by the look of these rap videos, I'd say it's about 90% of you. I wish there was something I could do to get the two 10% together and let them procreate and leave the beast to themselves. Maybe you ladies, maybe you men who are in the 10% on each side can do something in your area put together functions of people who you know are worth a damn and y'all get together and y'all date you be on facebook with your friends and shit y'all know these people be passing out dick and pussy and stds like it ain't nothing so if you got a friend that's worth a damn and he got a friend that's worth a damn and y'all both know why don't y'all hook those people up that's the only way to, for the 10% to find each other because the 90% is too damn high and you keep running into them. Isolate yourself. The women who know what I'm talking about, they send me all kinds of letters. They donate all kinds of money to the show. They know that what I'm saying is the truth. They don't even like black women like I'm talking about. They can't stand those type of black women. So why don't we do everybody a favor? And disassociate ourselves with the Keith Chiefs and the, the, the crazy Negroes and then the women who think it's cool to be with the Keith Chiefs. Let them be together. The problem is a woman can be with Keith Chief, have a baby with Keith Chief, then turn around and get with my homeboy who got two damn degrees. That's the problem. Black women's pussy got the worst resume you can find. They'll fuck a nigga that, that ain't got no job, that's 19, then they'll turn around and fuck another nigga that's 65. They pussy got so much damn bad shit on their resume that it wouldn't get hired by Walmart during the fucking Christmas season. Tell me I'm lying. Most black women, if you look at who they slept with, it ranges in an, an, a million dollar athlete and a trash man. Same cat. And they have baby by the trash man, not the athlete. The trash man be the one got them pregnant. Again, black men, all this is your fault. All of this is your fault. Because you are the head, supposedly. You are the king, supposedly. And when your queen has taken domination of you, then you can't blame anybody else for losing your kingdom but your damn self. You picked the wrong queen, and now the queen has run amok. Want to rebuild your kingdom? Start with building, picking another queen. The black ones ain't working. That's fine, because they love black kids that come from mixed people. So create more of what they love. But don't blame nobody else but yourself. Again, black men, if you dating a white woman, a Puerto Rican woman, or whatever it is, and you happy... Go be happy. Watch my videos being attained, but don't just sit there and just go off on black women when you aren't with one. That's when you should stop. I'm not on here going off on black women and then I got a white woman at home. I think that doesn't make any sense. 
Got a white woman at home, I'd leave black women alone. I wouldn't say a word about it. I wouldn't even speak to black women at the grocery store. Seriously. I wouldn't have anything to do with them. And you shouldn't either. If you've moved on, then stay moved on. Don't keep coming back and arguing with people that you already said you don't like. Leave them alone. There's no reason for that. Anyway, hopefully you men will listen. Hopefully you women who are part of the 10% will listen. If you got a girl that's worth a damn and you know a dude that's worth a damn, hook them up. Quit letting them get with people that ain't shit. That's what's hurting our race more than anything. We're not sticking together and, and banding together. That's what I love about my show. Any of you can come to my show and go look in the chat room. It's women and men. Any of you can go listen to my show every Tuesday and Friday from 7 to 12. And you'll listen to those men and those women. And they're getting together. And they're slowly doing it. But we need your help. People who are worth a damn, hook your friend up with somebody that's worth a damn. It's a simple process. We can drown their asses out. That's what needs to happen. Till then, men, everything that happens to you is your fault. Until you do right by me, I'm Tommy Sotomayor.